Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Teresa. I got the new little Natasha Denona Valentine's Day palette. It's a five pan kind of pinky mauvey palette and it did come with a little brush. Yeah, I didn't try the brush but I did try the palette. So this whole video is some swatches, not that there's a lot to swatch, a tutorial and a review. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, then do please keep on watching. So this is the new Natasha Denona Mini Crush Palette. Let's have a little look in terms of how it compares to the Mini Love from last year. Are they similar? Yes, but are they dupes? Absolutely not. This is much more mauve toned. This is a lot more pink toned. But let's do some little swatches of this to have a look. So that's it. Like I said, it's very pinky, red tone leaning. It was a pretty decent idea for Valentine's Day. What do you guys think? Yeah, I will say the shimmers, really, really nice. But the tutorial is next, so keep on watching. Can we just say how incredibly brave I was? I did a full face, like a base of makeup before going near my eyes. That is near unheard of with me. I don't know where like the idea came from that I was like, let's do something completely different. You don't have a lot of time before filming releases and rants, but let's do something ridiculously stupid and do this instead. I don't know, it's interesting. I, I feel like my bravery will go down in history. Children will sing songs about it, poets, will we'll write about my, my incredible bravery. I think, I assume, I don't know. Anyways, I am taking this Cash Beauty like little liner brush, came as part of their trance set, and I'm going into the shade Koi. It's this sort of like matte purple. And all I'm trying to do, and I say trying, is kind of map along kind of that line to draw out that shape, just to get the general idea of it down and oh my god are my eyes ever hooded like they've gotten so much worse in the last while ugh god damn your genetics you're very upsetting so i'm just kind of doing a, a curvy liney thingy is it perfect no will it do eh i'm taking the same shade again and you see i'm bringing it down under the lower lash line and I'm just kind of drawing it down. And I want it to kind of meet here as well, so I'm kind of bringing this down and bringing it over. And now I have to kind of do the inner corner of the eye. Are they going to match? Who knows? Ugh, I'm so bad at this. So I'm just kind of going in like this and doing that circular sort of thing. So I did have it kind of go in like that. That's right, match the ball sack, match it. That'll do big, that'll do. Then I'm just taking a Zoeva 238 and I'm going back into the same shade again and I'm just kind of packing on a little bit more colour just because the, the liner only kind of gives me so much. And I swear there there is a method to this. I don't really know what it is. I'm sure somebody else can do this better. I'm taking the Zoeva 238 again and I think I'm going into Soul. It's so hard to know, but it's this shade here. And I'm just kind of mapping along where the deeper shade is, kind of popping that on top. So I'll be following along the line. Now I will say these kind of blend into each other pretty darn well. Um, I will say, however, that the dark shade, oh, that is tricky, tricky to blend. like. I say that they blend in well together in the sense that the colour story blends in together quite well, but I did struggle to try and get them to blend. Like I was kind of sitting there for a while kind of going, do you like each other? What's happening? I'm taking this away for 238 again and I'm going into this shade here. I think it's Soul or Lotus. Who really knows? It's all like written on the back, but it's not clear as to which one is which. Science. Now, this shade is quite deceptive because it looks like it's gonna be very light, but actually, like once you put it onto the eye, it isn't that light of a shade at all. This does blend very well with the color next to it. I didn't have any major issue, and I would say that this actually 
works quite well to help you blend out that like deep purple shade. So I'm again just kind of mapping that onto where the previous shade was because obviously I'll be looking to blend each of these. And then I'm taking a Morphe M562 and I'm going into this shade again. And literally all I'm doing is just bringing it down under the lash line to kind of blend it with that deep purple shade, just so we have more of a transition there. And I'm taking that same Morphe M562, it's gone through the color switch, because I'm a lazy bee, and I'm literally just going to sweep across back and forward. Now this is where we start to lose the shape ever so slightly, but that's okay because that's where concealer comes in and paint pots and all that sort of thing. We just pretend that it never happened. Now you'll see that actually that purple leaves quite a harsh line. It's quite difficult to blend in with the other shade and you do really have to persist with it. I would say that that purple is not really made for any sort of beginners in makeup because you're really gonna struggle unless you're making it like the the whole look to be that deep purple, it's gonna be difficult to blend out. So I've actually had to go back into the deep purple again, just even to bring it in here because I need to give that amount of depth. So I'm just kind of sweeping kind of towards the inside of the eye with this. As you can see, it's been mm, a while and I'm still attempting to blend. The purple still leaves quite a harsh line. So again, just definitely not for beginners and if you're trying to do a smoky eye it's going to be very difficult to like if you start off with that dark shade to try and get it because I always start off with a dark shade and then kind of work out to the lightest that may not be kind of the way to work with this particular palette. Does this look like a complete mess? Yes but as a great philosopher once said we're all in this together. No that was high school musical. Anyways it just trust the process guys. What I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of concealer, right? And I am going to cut all of this shit out, okay? And we'll come back. You know how I said that you have to trust the process? I'm not really sure I trust the process. You know how like they say, like during times of natural disasters, send thoughts and prayers? I could use some thoughts and prayers because this is going in a really, really odd direction. I am taking this spatula, just a silicone spatula, and I'm going into this kind of deep red metallic-y shimmery shade. And all I'm doing is just kind of popping that along there, like along each side. And then I'm taking the spatula again and I'm going into that pinky shimmer. And literally all I'm doing is just whacking that in the middle. Oh dear, shouldn't have put on the base beforehand because I just got some fallout. Oh well, could be worth Look at that. That shade alone, like if they did that as a single, I think that's gouges. Like, ugh. That actually makes the look come together, in my opinion. And then it's Morphe M562 coming to the rescue. And we're just blending across those two shimmers in that sort of way, but still trying to kind of keep the placement. I just think that pink shimmer is everything. I think it's gouges. What do you think? Did you get this? What do you think of that pink shimmer? So that is the finished look. It's a little bit unusual, a different sort of an eye shape than I would normally go for, but I was kind of limited when there's only five shades, but I will zoom you in now so you can have a look. So this is what it looks like all together. Kind of an unusual shape, kind of like it. Went for pretty big lashes, they're powerhouse by Lewis Cosmetics. I was surprised. And then without the glasses, you can kind of see the shape a little bit better. I think the pink shimmer makes it kind of pop a little bit more. So what do I think of this little palette? If I'm 100% honest, I was a little bit underwhelmed. That deep purple shade, very, very difficult to blend out. It just, it just kind of sticks and doesn't really want to do a hell of a lot. I think the color story is pretty nice. I don't think it's as nice as last year's but that pink is absolutely beautiful um i just i just wish they had kind of formulated that shade a little bit better i think considering the price i just i don't absolutely love it i would probably give this a six out of ten do not buy this full price wait see if you can get it at a discount if you are like desperate to get your paws on this 
but I don't think it's worth the full thing. Now, I didn't try the brush. As you can see, it's a little bit too big for what I was doing. Yeah, I did say that. Um, but it's an okay palette. I just don't think it's warranting the price tag. I've gotten cheaper that are better. But that's the whole thing. Do please like, comment and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you can get more notifications of whatever it is that I'm doing over here. And do please share because sharing is caring unless of course it's an STD in which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross. But that's it. That is the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.